ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to find and solve 99.9% .9 of problems inside of Google ads, at least in my opinion. And I'm going to provide you a literal overview and principles to follow on how to find all these problems and how to solve them effectively. Normally, it's the same problems inside Google ads I see in essentially every single account I audit. Very few times is it something just absolutely crazy out of this world. Normally, it fits inside this box. And I'm going to share with you essentially how to solve all these problems rather quickly. Now, you may be wondering, why should I listen to you? Guy on the screen, my name is Matt. I'm the director of business here at Tradesman Digital Marketing. We're a lead generation agency for Google ads. That's all we do. We just do leads. Uh, <laughs> we're very good at it. We've been in business quite a while now. And I've written an actual book on this subject of finding these problems. And uh, so many people overthink things. They think maybe it's the search terms. Maybe it's the actual auction insights. Maybe I can do something in there. Maybe I can figure out why our competitors. Yeah, maybe it's that, or maybe the conversion tracking isn't set up properly. Normally it's the simpler things and people just overlook this. They make Google ads super complicated. So I wanted to make an actual video of how to break this stuff down and make it super simple. Now I'm going to use my book here to actually simplify things even further. So as you can see, this is our book and I left a little note in here. <laughs> I've created people. I've created this manual to help take actionable steps to improve this account. This is not meant for people with 10 plus years of experience. This is meant for new people inside Google ads. And again, fixes 80% of the problems with 20% of the solutions, which is like I said, probably it's probably even higher. It's probably 90 some odd percent that this will actually fix. But step one, what do we do? We have a problem inside Google ads. How do we go about solving this? And it's simple. We identify the issue. Now this may sound overall very, very complex inside Google ads. Normally it's one of three things. And normally those three things are very easy to identify. Cost per click is too high, click through rate is too low, conversion rate is too low. Normally it's one of those things. If you can identify which of those things is not in the proper hemisphere, uh, life becomes a lot easier because then you could go, oh, conversion rate is too low. Okay, how do we solve that and go from there? I'm gonna show you exactly how to identify those things inside Google Ads. Now, I have a previous account here in Google Ads that we used to use. By the way, this is a new design. If you want to change this design back to the new one, if you don't like it or the old and vice versa, if you wanna come back to this design, all you have to do is come up here to appearance and then hit use new design or use old design uh, and it will flip flop you back into this old one. I prefer the old design. I think it looks a lot nicer. Now, moving forward, how do we figure out if our click-through rate is too low our conversion rate is too low, or our cost per click is too high. It's pretty simple to do. Um, what you can do is just come over to your actual campaign, hit overview, and then actually just adjust these things. So for clicks, we can go into average cost per click, $3.93. That doesn't seem very high for a lot of accounts. It could be high though. How do we figure out if this is too high? Well, we come over here to tools and settings. We come over here to the keyword planner. We're going to open that up. And then we're going to type in, I forget what it was doing. I think I was doing digital advertising, which is a very expensive niche, by the way. <laughs> digital advertising. Let's do it. Digital advertising. And then you can type out a few more keywords you want to be targeting. And then you can come over here and geo-modify this to the actual location. This is super important. If we were only targeting, let's say Hamilton here, we need to modify this or else it will just give you the results for the entire country. And that's not going to be accurate. So we need to make sure that's changed and we could remove Canada if we want. But for the sake of example, I'm going to keep it here. Then we can hit get results and we can come over and we can see all of this data. And now, as you can see, all of these actual bid ranges and these keywords, so programmatic advertising, that's not really applicable to us. What I like doing is just clicking on these and you can export them if you want into another file. It's up to you. And then actually what you should do is expand this to 500, make things easier on yourself. Google PBC agency, maybe that's applicable. Internet advertising, you know, maybe online advertising companies, stuff like that. And what I would do is actually look at the top of page bid range, low and high, and keep going four to $18, five to 13. Yeah, our our account looks pretty good at $3. It's <laughs> That looks really, really good for what we have, right? Now, if our cost per click is good, what's the next thing? We're, what are, what's the next thing we gotta do, Matt? Very simple, move to the next step, click through rate. How do we know if this is too low? Well, we can adjust this. We can go to CTR, click through rate. And I'm actually gonna pause the video and then just come back to the WordStream document. So essentially what I mean by the WordStream document is if you just type into Google, Google Ads, Benchmarks, WordStream, this will pop up and this is beautiful. This is the industry benchmark. This is normally updated. As you can see, last updated February 21st. It's released by WordStream, a massive company. Those guys are awesome. And uh, no, I don't need any tips right now. I'm okay with it. But what we can see, is they give you average click-through rates for essentially every single industry. As you can see, auto, B2B, real estate, technology, travel and hospital. 
What's important to note here is the display network and the search network. Normally, we're going to be using search network. Uh, if you're using display network, apply that. <laughs> you guys are smart. You can figure it out. But what we're going to be looking for is something related to this. So if there is advertising, we have advocacy, auto, B2B. So what's B2B at? 2.41%. That's not that's kind of related to us. Mm, I would say B2B is probably our closest bet. So B2B, 2.41%. What are we at? We're at 2.21. Is our click-through rate substantially lower? Not really. I wouldn't be concerned with it at this point. If it was like 0.2%, maybe then that's a problem. If there's a massive gap here, probably the problem here. Now moving forward, we look at our conversion rate and we see it's 4.6%. Now this may be good for certain industries. It may not be. And really what I like to do is try and get our conversion rate as high as possible because for me, landing pages are pretty easy to fix and making sure you have a good landing page is very easy if you're using a landing page software. I recommend using a software called Landing Leap. It's super cheap, it's super quick. Everything on there is super easy to use. It's like $29 a month and you can essentially quadruple your leads overnight as opposed to running all of your traffic and customers to your website. Send them to a landing page. Landing pages are super simple. They allow you to do one of two things, one call or two, you know, fill out a form submission. Don't make your customer bounce all over your website trying to find what they want. They wanna contact you. They wanna make sure you can solve their problem. Keep it super simple and you will generally have a very high conversion rate. That being said, how do we know if this is good or not? And another great thing by WordStream, love you guys, uh, is average conversion rates in Google ads by industry. And as you can see, this is our B2B here, conversion rate 3.04%. Now, if you're using landing pages, this should be higher. And as you can see, we were using really, I think actually, no, we were sending it to our main uh, website. So this is why it's so low. And actually it's doing all right, 4.6%. I would probably wanna see that somewhere around 10 to 15% because if we're using landing pages, we're dedicating all these resources to it. We want it to be substantially higher. So in this account, I would say, you know what? Conversion rate seems to be our biggest problem. And normally if you can double conversions, you can double the amount of leads in a month. If you can triple it, you can triple the amount of leads. It's something that is very easy to adjust and see massive results. So for this account, I would say, you know what? We should try and look at and fix landing pages. We need to do something about that. Now, when we come back to our actual book, we can come over here and see zone in on the main issue. That's what we did. We found that, you know, our conversion rate isn't great. It should be a little bit higher. And Google Ads benchmarks here on WordStream are pretty good. Is the conversion rate awful? By all means, no, it's still above average, but that's something I would like to see a little bit better. And then identifying the solution, we found and identified the solution. We need better landing pages. And these are the solutions for low click-through rates, you know, A-B test the ads. Our click-through rate was actually a little bit low here. So I would actually be A-B testing these ads as well to try and see if we can increase it. And then a whole bunch of other stuff, A-B testing the ad extensions, which are also part of the ad, uh, using simple like language, making sure you have a call to action, making sure those line up with the actual landing pages. You know, very, very useful stuff. Low conversion rate, making sure you're using a landing page, making sure you're A-B testing it, making sure the conversion tracking is working properly. You'd be shocked how many people actually come into these accounts and they don't track phone calls and they're only tracking form submissions on one site or on one page. So if they go to, you know, the customer goes to a different page, they're not tracking those conversion actions anymore. The landing page, super simple. I have a complete tutorial on how to set up the actual conversion tracking for phone calls and form submissions. So that should all be covered. You should have very accurate conversion tracking as well. Once that's all set up, we can come back here and if, let's see if I can find the actual right page here. <laughs> Making sure you have a clear call to action and allowing you just to use more stuff, A-B test those landing pages, make sure they're up to a really good conversion rate. And then if you were to have a high cost per click, what can you adjust? Days of the week, locations, devices, demographics, audiences. There's so much you can do here really with the actual cost per click, changing out to your actual bidding strategy, making sure you're adding negatives, a lot of stuff you can here do here and then uh, implement the solution. One of the things that I would highly recommend doing is making sure you have enough data. This book was written before the massive change in Google Ads, which was the actual phrase match, exact match and broad match, all the match types changed over to be much more lenient in the actual search terms. So essentially you can appear for a lot more stuff now. Before 10 clicks or 100 impressions wasn't terrible. You could probably make a pretty good decision on that. Maybe 15 clicks would be a little bit better. Now you're looking at even more. I like for landing pages to look at 100 clicks on a landing page and then figure out what are actual 
conversion rate is that gives you a really good insight into whether or not this conversion rate is actually going to be you know better on one landing page versus another and it gives you a very good insight into being like yep this is enough data we can make a decision on here same with the ads normally you want to have a decent amount of data to make an actual accurate decision you don't want to just guess and be like eh, I feel like this landing page is doing better let's just switch it because you're going to shoot yourself in the foot especially if you're doing this long term if you keep making decisions based on bad data it's just going to continuously hurt the account as opposed to you know taking that little bit of extra time taking that extra two weeks to make sure you have enough data then go yep this ad is much better this landing page is much better. This keyword is much better. We should double down on these. And then two weeks later, you double down on it again, and you're able to see amazing results come, you know, 60, 90, 120 days or whatever it is in the side of the account, just because you've made those proper decisions. Now, moving forward in our book, if we continue scrolling down, be patient. We need to be patient. We need to make sure that this is going to be good accurate, relevant data. Like I just said, most people are not patient. But if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the actual finding of these problems, most of these problems are taken care of just by using this stuff. 99% of problems inside Google Ads fall into this. If you follow this guide, if you make sure you're patient, you follow the accurate data, your account should see a massive improvement. And again, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Also, by the way, check out our Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and walks you through on what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis. It also lets you jot down your results so you can make sure you're making progress month over month, just in case you don't have some sort of checklist. Very handy. But other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. I wish you all well.